Good day! This is Teacher Janice and I welcome you all to our computer class. How did the early people communicate with each other? How were they able to disseminate news? How did they record important events that happened during their time? For this video presentation, we will explore the history of publishing. Writing was already evident even in prehistoric times. The methods of the early people were primitive because they used rocks, bones, and sticks to write on cave walls to record their experiences. The first writing system was cuneiform. This started around 3000 BCE by the Sumerian people who lived in the Middle East. Cuneiform comes from the Latin word cuneus, which means wedge. It is done by drawing the symbols on a wet clay tablet. Next was hieroglyphics. Egypt's contribution. Hieroglyphic came from the Greek word hieros, which means sacred, and glypho, which means engraved. Hieroglyphic characters represent objects and sounds. Record shows that the Egyptians also created their own alphabet system, which consisted of 24 symbols representing certain letters. Next was papyrus, another Egypt's contribution. Papyrus, it is a type of paper made from the pitch of papyrus plant. Instead of writing on the walls of caves, they used plants to create paper. Next was the Phoenician alphabet. It was the Phoenicians who developed the higher level of writing. Phoenician alphabet represents sounds instead of symbols. This is considered as the basis of the alphabet system that we use today. Next was a Chinese contribution, block printing. It uses ink that spreads evenly on a piece of wood and transfers the characters evenly on paper. The publishing techniques through the years. Producing copies to deliver information to a large population was another challenge that men had to discover. How were they able to publish and print these materials? First, let us have the term publishing. Publishing is the activity that involves the selection, preparation, and marketing of printed matter for public use. While printing is the art and technology of reproducing words and pictures in paper, cloth, or other surfaces. In the beginning of printing, it was Johannes Gutenberg's invented the first method of printing which he called movable type. Movable type printing was done by aligning or setting individual pieces of lead with raised letters in a straight line to form words. This method was known as the hand setting. For years, People have continued to develop machines that could produce more and more copies of printed information in a faster way. The Emergence of Modern Printing In 1810, the first workable cylinder printing press was developed in England by Friedrich Winnick. The cylinder increased the speed of the printing process to about 1,100 sheets per hour four times greater than any of the previous 
Press has invented. Next was the rotary printing press. It was made of rotating cylinders of running paper. It was much faster and it could print millions of copies in a day. It was Richard March Poe who invented it. Next was the offset printing. This is a printing technique in which the images are put offset in plates using ink and water and then transferred to a rubber blanket to make an imprint on paper. Most of the books in newspapers are reproduced and printed using this technique. Today, other kinds of publications can be printed and reproduced for different purposes through desktop publishing. This is the use of computers and software to produce publications such as brochures, newsletters, cards, posters, and banners. Even at home, we can have a small printing press. But how? You will learn the skills needed by reading and knowing the succeeding lessons in our subject. That's all for this presentation. You've done very well. Thanks for watching. Remember that in everything we do, Jesus is glorified.